guys, this is Chia from Brand24. Welcome to the Social Recap, a rundown of all the latest highlights in social media and digital marketing news. So here's what's in store for you. After digging into all the newest trends in social media marketing from the past week, we're going to be reporting back with the most interesting pieces of content that we find along with our insights. Plus, we'll be testing some new tools related to social media or digital marketing so we can give you a quick rundown of the ones that we think work really well. Now, what do we have for you this time? Since it's our very first episode, not only are we going to recap eight of the most newsworthy articles about social media and digital marketing from the past week, but we're also throwing in a tiny little surprise at the end of this episode. Anyway, let's get started and get you all caught up with the highlights from this week's social recap. First up, Snapchat recently announced a big redesign and users are not happy about it. The changes make it so that people can no longer watch a continuous stream of stories from their friends and when they do watch stories, they're getting interrupted by individual messages. Uh, kind of like this. Hmm. So, members of the Snapchat community don't really see these changes as improvements. Instead, they're saying that the big redesign actually makes the app less user-friendly. A petition demanding that Snapchat kill off these changes even managed to gain more than one million signatures. That's a lot. And Kylie Jenner, one of the most influential users of the app, announced that she would be signing off from the platform for good. With popular social media influencers jumping ship, what does this mean for the future of Snapchat? Will they be able to recover? We're going to be keeping an eye on this to see how it develops. Next, Facebook is looking to the future. Now with GL transmission format version 2.0 supported, 3D posts have been relaunched with more textures, lighting, and realistic rendering of rough or shiny objects. So the new graph API will allow developers to support seamless 3D sharing into any app so that users like us can share interactive objects or scenes directly to the feed, or we can bring these 3D posts into Facebook spaces, which is pretty much the equivalent of a social VR hangout space. Advertisers and marketers alike are loving this update for obvious reasons, because it brings consumers even closer to real products. So now brands can display more realistic 3D images of consumer goods like you know, fashion accessories or even furniture online. And even more importantly, the new Graph API means that 3D posts can be shared across devices and embedded on other websites. So if Facebook can make this work, it could put them way ahead of any other platform by giving their users, including social media marketers and otherwise, the most futuristic way to learn and share. Moving on. If you work in social media or digital marketing, you're probably no stranger to analytics. Well, guess what? You can also get analytics about Gmail now. So why would you need analytics for your email? That is a good question. We were wondering about this as well, but then we realized, even though we can do a lot with Gmail in general, like send, receive, draft, star, or search for long lost email messages that we do not really want to find. There's a lot left to be understood about the way that we use email. For example, with Gmail's new analytics, you'll find data on the number of emails you send, receive each day or within a given time or date range, who your top senders are, stats on conversations and threads, word counts, response times, and more. If you think about it, this is a pretty significant development because it will help us understand the way that we use our time. And the more that we're aware of how we're using our time, the better prepared we are to make changes that will just make us you know, more efficient. So as an employer, you can monitor Gmail analytics to help you manage your employees. And if you are an entrepreneur or part of a motivated and ambitious team like our amazing customer success squad at Brand24, Gmail Analytics can help you improve personal productivity and even project ROI. So for example, if you find that one customer requires twice as much time or attention as another one, but they're kind of paying the same amount, Gmail Analytics will let you know that it may be time for you to develop a different approach. So next up. Facebook has been busy. They've recently made quite a few changes. Besides relaunching and improving their 3D posts, there's been another one regarding their algorithms. Facebook has modified their algorithm to restrict the content that users are exposed to. So now we see a little more content from friends and family and less public content from brands and businesses. The next big change, which will also have a huge effect on digital marketers, is the way that they'll be displaying their ad metrics. And the spirit of transparency, two new labels have been added to the Facebook ad metric vocabulary. 
and they're estimated and in development. So this has been implemented to provide marketers with more clarity on how each metric is calculated. So you can measure your KPIs just a little bit better. When you see the word estimated attached to a label, it means that this metric is actually based on a sample from the data. In development means that the metric is still being tested, so they may consider changing the way that they actually calculate this in the future, you know, it's in development. It's not just about providing more information either. Facebook is also removing about 20 different metrics that they have decided are redundant, outdated, not actionable, or infrequently used. And to help digital marketers get used to all the new changes, a new program called Measure What Matters is coming soon. Basically, it's going to educate all us marketers about the changes that they have made to their ad metrics. Clarity is key. So if you're a digital marketer on Facebook, make sure you stay up to date on all the latest changes. And an easy way to do this is by tuning into the social recap. Speaking of social media platforms like Facebook, here's another highlight from Snapchat. You can now add GIF stickers, or is it GIF, courtesy of Jiffy, or Giphy if you prefer, to your images and videos on Snapchat. This update is coming a little late. Instagram actually just introduced the same feature last month, but better late than never. This event marks the first time that Snapchat has copied something from Instagram. Up until now, Instagram has been the one trying to catch up to Snapchat, making this a pretty interesting turn of events. So what's new over at Google? Well, they've just launched AMP Stories, so it looks like they decided to hop onto the story bandwagon. Just like the stories that you can watch or create on social media platforms like Snapchat and Instagram, AMP Story users will be able to combine text, videos, images, and graphics in Google's new visual storytelling format. AMP Stories is going to be free from external advertisements, but publishers will be able to advertise from within the content of their own AMP Stories. More importantly, publishers will be able to keep 100% of the ad revenue from their stories. I like the sound of that. This seems like a pretty strong bid from Google to compete with the likes of Snapchat and Instagram. At the moment, they're still focused on just drumming up interest among potential publishers, and once they get the ball rolling and have a better idea of what users expect from their new feature, they might look into a more consumer-oriented approach. So for now, the main features include rich visuals with native video and image performance, storytelling through animations and tappable interactions, as well as support for mobile and desktop access. Now let's take a baby step away from social media and look at a different platform. If and when you are job hunting, what's one of the most important things that you want to know about before you even talk to a potential employer? Mm. I'm pretty sure that salary ranks pretty high up there for most of us. Well, LinkedIn, one of the biggest professional social networking sites, has introduced a salary insights feature to its job listings. So you're going to see an estimated or expected salary range next to each job listing. Uh, this will introduce a lot more transparency between employers and employees. These figures are going to be coming from nearly 550 million LinkedIn members, as well as from employers who agree to provide that information. Actually, a survey on LinkedIn found that 70% of potential hires want to know about the potential salary as soon as they get their first message from a recruiter. This is a really good development for both employers and employees because transparency is key to a healthy relationship, professional or otherwise. Also, you won't have to spend so much time agonizing over how to negotiate a salary or you know, whether it's even going to be worth your time applying for that position in the first place. So now we're coming up to our last highlight in the social recap. This one is not exactly an article per se, but we've been hearing so much about Vero that we had to mention it. Vero is a new social media platform. It has zero ads, no bots are allowed, and it does not implement algorithms to jerry-rig the kind of content that you might see. Sounds kind of interesting, right? So Vero is similar to Instagram because it's really image-focused, but you can share more than pictures or video clips. You can also link to music, books, and movies that you want to recommend. And when you share these items on Vero, you create a mini review with a link to that media. So if someone were to buy through your link, Vero gets a small percentage of your sale, and that's how they make up for the lack of ads on their platform. So why are we mentioning Vero in the social recap because of all the buzz. Actually, as soon as we heard about a hot new social media platform, of course, we started tracking it inside Brand24. And as you can see in the chart from our media monitoring product, uh, Vero has been getting a lot of attention. It went from generating a little under a million online mentions on February 23rd and jumped to nearly three million mentions just after two days. Could Vero be the new Facebook? Only time can tell. 
In the meantime, we're going to be monitoring all the buzz and reporting back to you in a few weeks. So these are the most interesting highlights that we found in the past week, but that's not all we have for you. We also discovered a couple new tools that look pretty cool, AdSense Auto and SIP. Coming from Google, AdSense Auto helps automate smart digital marketing. Basically, it's designed to display ads on your site based on how well they're estimated to perform, so you can provide a good user experience instead of just bombarding your visitors with pointless advertisements. And SIP is the latest brainchild from Product Hunt. And it's essentially a tech industry newsletter in iOS and Android form. We like SIP because it's a time saver that combines explanations, commentary tweets, links to news outlets, po uh, polls, and of course, Product Hunt pages to serve up bite-sized alternatives to what could be very time-consuming articles. I don't know about you, but I can always use a little extra time and support from really smart helpers down at the office. All right, well, that's it for this episode. If you don't want to miss out on any highlights about the latest news and trends in social media and digital marketing, subscribe to the Social Recap in Messenger, and we'll get you all caught up in a couple of minutes. Oh, and there's that tiny little surprise I mentioned earlier. So if you are a fan of social media and online marketing tools, just comment below this post and our messenger bot will send you the newest info about two of our favorite and most useful tools that we ourselves like to use. Well, it looks like we're all up to date for this week. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Thanks for tuning in to the social recap. See you next time. Bye.